strap yourself in and get ready to learn. Your mind is beginning to work. It's entirely due to my influence, of course. You mustn't take any credit. Well, I'm hoping today that we can not only get your mind working, but get you up to a higher level in terms of your thinking, because my guest is Mark Friedman. He is the president of Friedman Financial in Peabody, Massachusetts. But more importantly for this discussion, he's the author of a new book called Retiring for the Genius, Your Blueprint for Planning a Comfortable Retirement. And if you have listened to the show for any length of time, if you go back, et cetera, well, when I wrote my first book, it was the right way to hire financial help. And I said at the time, I want to see right way, like show me the right way, show me something for smart people. Every time we've had a dummies author on, I say, I kind of hate the dummies format. You used to have the coolest people. I hate all that stuff. And what's great about this book is not that it's aimed for geniuses because you don't think of yourself as a genius necessarily. If you did, you probably wouldn't be listening to the show, but it's aimed at getting you to a level where you kind of go, Hey, that's genius. I can have this plan and make myself comfortable and not make myself crazy. If you want to learn more about the book, it's retiringgenius.com is the website for the book. If you want to learn more about Mark and his firm, they're at friedmanfinancial.com. And by the way, Mark is on Twitter at Retiring Genius. Mark Friedman, welcome back to Money Life. Thanks for having me, Chuck. Really appreciate it. I like this book, like I said, because it is sort of not saying, hey, if you don't know how to retire, you're stupid it takes this smart kind of approach. I'm wondering just at the surface level, what has been the response to that? Because I do worry that there are folks out there who would say, I'm not a genius and I'm never going to be one. So how can I actually retire like a genius? Think of it from two perspectives. Number one, this book is one book of a collection of books that will be rolling out over the course of the next couple of years as part of the For the Genius series. Imagine this is if you're walking down the aisle of a plane, walking down the bus, sitting on a train, sitting in a bus station, train station, wherever it might be, and you're reading one of those dummies books, and you're reading a book that says Retiring for Dummies or Retiring for the Genius, which cover would you prefer to have in your hand? That really is what it starts with there, because there's a genius in all of us. The dummies books were never intended to make you feel like a dummy, nor is the genius books intended for you to say, I am a genius to read this. But there is a genius in all of us, and one of the things that I try to prove in this book is that no matter how difficult, how complex, how extreme it is that the television and radio commentators tell you that planning for your financial life is so complicated, it's not. It's not rocket science. You can do this. I'm going to show you how to do it in the book. You can do this on your own. This is not a book that says, well, you need this book, and then you need to go hire somebody. (laughs) This book is a guideline on how to prepare for retirement and how to live in retirement right now. Well, that raises an interesting question. Because you are a financial advisor, and Mm -hmm. by the way, you're a radio host. I should make sure that my audience knows you host the Dollars and Cents radio show, which folks can listen to Sunday mornings on North Shore 104.9, North Shore because you're in Peabody, Massachusetts, so the North Shore of Boston, and they can also get links to it online. Right. And one of the things that I like about this book is that, yes, it is telling you how to do this on your own, but most folks wind up at a spot where... They've either amassed enough money or they've made their plans or something else where they want to maybe have a professional come in, take a look, touch base with them, and then perhaps leave them alone. Right. You know, hey, you're on track. You're, you've done OK, etc. How do you think people should use the combination of resources that are available to them from things like your book or my show or your show all the way up to your services as an advisor? Right. Uh, what, what we try to do in the book, what I try to do in the show, I think even what you try to do in your show, is we want to explain to people that, look, you're not a dummy. You can figure this out. Financial planning is not rocket science. You can do this. But there will be periods of time where you might want to get a second opinion, where you might want to get some help. Look, the tax laws change. Um, retirement planning laws change. All sorts of things are adjusting in your life, and you sometimes just want an objective opinion. And one of the things that we've done in the book is not only we've given you the skills to do this on your own, but in chapter, I I think it's section three of the book, I give you the tools and the skills to go out and find someone, and here are the questions that you need to ask of them so you get the answers to the questions you want, and then you can either choose to continue to hire them or simply move on because you've got the answers to the questions that you need. For people who are deciding how they want to proceed, is the right step to say, hey, take a look at a book like this one. And if you're still not comfortable, that's 
your next step. The next step is go hire the advisor because if you can't, I mean, one of the things that I looked at in the book was, well, if you can't be comfortable doing this after looking here, you're not going to be comfortable doing this. Well, that, that's right. I mean, most people, I mean, look, there's plenty of surveys that are out that say uh, that many pre-retirees and retirees avoid going to see a financial advisor because they think it's just going to cost them too much money. So my feeling was, look, I've got 24 years of experience in the business. I'm going to open up my office and share with you the 24 years of experience that we have, plus the 20 plus years beyond that that my father even had when he started the firm. We're going to give you the skills to do this. Right from number one thing that you need to do is getting your financial house in order. Here's how to do it. Here's how to figure out how much you need to spend every month. These are the steps. These are the templates that we use in our office so that you can do this on your own. If you say, you know, it's getting a little too complicated or I want a second opinion, we also give you the steps on how you can go ahead and find somebody to help you out as well. What do you think is the biggest impediment to most people when it comes to good planning on their own? Oh, I, I think the uh, first thing is pr- um, procrastination. Most people look at their retirement plan and they say, well, I've got X number of dollars in my 401k plan. Is this going to be enough to support me in retirement? And gosh, it's so much more than that. I mean, you have to look at everything in your financial life. And when we prepare actually for meetings here in our office with our clients, and we send them out that questionnaire that says, look, you're going to have to gather six months of bank statements, your life insurance policies, your homeowners, automobile policies, your tax returns, estate plans. You're going to have to dig those double E savings bonds out of your underwear drawer. You're going to have to find checking accounts and all of this stuff. People go, oh my God, I don't want to do that much work. But (laughs) once it's done, once you've gotten to that point, man, you feel so much better. You get the clarity that you need so that you really get the answers that are appropriate to your financial situation so that you can figure out, am I on the right track or what are the points of vulnerability that need to be addressed so that I can get myself heading down the right path? You know, you talk about the points of vulnerability, and I think that that's a key issue here because I believe that when folks look at retirement planning, what they're thinking about always is the dollars and the 401k and not everything else. When you're looking at retirement with a client, how much of your focus is on investments and how much of your focus is on, are you going to need long-term care insurance? What's going to happen with estate planning and all those other things? Well, yeah, I look at financial planning as this giant pot and you can slice it up into as many pieces as you want, but only one slice and not the largest slice is the one that focuses on investments because the stuff that focuses on investments is stuff that frankly You don't have much control over. You don't have control over whether the market goes up or down. You don't have control about what happens on a socioeconomic basis and what happens overseas. You don't have that kind of control. But you do have control over a few things. Number one, you have control over how you spend your money. Number two, you have control over how much money you could potentially earn. You have control over how generous you want to be or not want to be with your children, grandchildren, or even with your parents if they need help. You have control over to what extent the amount of life insurance you might want to have to protect yourself or the withholdings you have on your tax return, I mean, on your pay stub. Mm -hmm. Because I'll tell you, one of the things that I find fascinating is that so many people will tell me that they have a great accountant because he gets them such a good refund. (laughs) And I insist to people that the quality of your accountant doesn't matter, doesn't me- isn't measured by the refund that you get. It's just a check and balance system. Yeah. Well, and, and many mo- people and, don't get that. And more to the point, why would you want to give Uncle Sam an interest free loan? If exactly. You, if, if, you, if your accountant was great, they would tell you, hey, you're overpaying your taxes, keep more money, and just make it that you get through your taxes without owing and without being owed. That would be right. ideal. That's right. We're almost out of time here. But if there's one thing that you hope people sort of really pick up and get from the book where you think it's different from a lot of the other advice out there, what would it be? Um, I think the the primary focus is, look, that there is a segment of the population. I call them the mass affluent baby boomer. These are people between the ages of 55 and 75. These are people who generally are homeowners, and they plan to spend somewhere between four and $9,000 a month in retirement. In addition, they have a net worth, a total net worth that includes their house, their 401k, bank accounts, everything, between a half a million dollars and $2 million. This segment of the population, I believe, is being tremendously oversold and underserved by the financial services community. They're making you feel like idiots, when in fact, you really are a genius. All you need to do is just get a few of those little pointers that come from the book, Retiring for the Genius, which you can find on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, now available on Kindle as well. 
And so for anywhere between 9.95 for the Kindle version and I don't know 22 bucks for the hard copy, you can get the answers that you need. You can be a genius as you begin to approach your retirement and begin to make some smart decisions. Well, I like the book and I do think if folks take a look at it, they will help themselves making smart decisions. They may not be a genius, but hopefully they'll at least find genius moves and feel a lot smarter for it. Mark Friedman, thanks so much for joining me on Money Life. I hope we get a chance to talk again soon. Thanks for having me, Chuck. Really appreciate it. Mark Friedman is the president of Friedman Financial, and his new book is Retiring for the Genius, your blueprint for planning a comfortable retirement. If you want more information, it's retiringgenius.com. On Twitter, at retiringgenius. you want more on the firm, it's freedmanfinancial.com.